been joined by Shamir Fenelon. Uh, thanks for that, Shamir. I know you don't want to miss that bus. It's a long journey home. But uh, how are you feeling right now? Obviously, there's a sense of injustice. There's a sense of frustration about the result. But uh, can you get the things into perspective and, and, and analyse that as a performance? Yeah, I think, obviously, at the moment, it's straight after the game, so it's, it's hard to... Obviously, everyone's a bit sore because, obviously, we feel we should have got something out of it, maybe even won the game with the chances we got. So I'm sure obviously on Monday when we have the weekend to recover and think about a Monday, look at the videos, we can, then we can analyse the performances itself and see what we've done well, what we didn't do well. But I think away from home, that's a lot of chance to be great today. We should have, there's a few of us that should have scored, myself included. But I mean, away from home, you don't usually get that many chances. So that's a positive, I know that straight away. So if we could look at others on Monday and then a lot of encouraging signs in the performance um, you know notably uh, the fact that in the commentary box there's actually three of us there today and we all come up with a different player one of them was you in terms of the, the Aldershot Town man of the match lots of people contributed to it but as you say you just want one to go in the back of the net and, and we've had a whole host of kind of near misses one headed off the line and then somehow we've contrived not to score from a situation where they finally made a blatant mistake at the back um, and I guess you've just got to take that in the chin on football haven't you and, 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 and go and make Maidstone pay for it on Tuesday night exactly I mean it wouldn't surprise me if we score early on Tuesday it wouldn't surprise me I mean there's going to be some games where we don't create as many chances but everything we do touch goes in the back of the net so it's ups and downs but yeah as long as we so we'll have a look on Monday on the training ground in the videos and see what we've done well what we didn't do well and yeah just make sure we're ready for Tuesday. A word about the keeper Jake Cole another day if we've just tucked away one of those chances we're talking about a most incredible double save to uh, you know to secure a point for us sadly in the end it was worth nothing but uh, I don't know where you were on the pitch at the time but did you did you see those two saves in within a couple of seconds of each other what did you think of that? Yeah I mean that's what you need. Having that behind you, I mean, away from home, it can be times you're up against the ropes and mm. when you've got someone that can do that sort of thing, and that's the difference between getting one point and three points away from home during the season. So it's good to have that there, yeah. And Shamir, the Aldershot Town fans that have made it along to pre-season games, will have had a look at you, possibly at home and away already. Um, a new face in the side, one of many new faces in the side, but you've got the nod today to start as one of the three more attacking players. How do you feel that uh, you equip yourself in the game today? Yeah, I thought I thought I got off to a good start. I thought I'd done well, to be fair. I mean, um, put a few, make, create a few chances. I mean, every time I got the ball, I tried to be positive. And I think, yeah, to be fair, like away from home, I thought I was, like, the, the pace and catching on the break, I thought, yeah, I suited it. So, yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy, but obviously I'm disappointed. Like, I can't really think about that. And obviously, I should have scored myself at the end, mm. I know. So. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to put you through more agony, but at the time that that mistake's happened, initially I think we're all thinking that you you should have the chance to tuck it in, but you lost your footing, didn't you? Yeah, cramp. Oh, really? Yeah, I got my got cramp in the 60th minute. Yeah. And it was on and off after that. And I saw you stretching off against yeah. one of the players, actually. So yeah. I'm running through. So I've lost my footing and got cramp. I managed to get up and I've just managed to scoop it back to Renz. I mean, if, I, if my legs are right, that's, that ball's been on the floor and he's probably tucking that away. Yeah. So obviously that his chance was harder than it should have been because of the, the pass back to him. But to be fair, they both could have easily went in the net as well. I think it's a difficult one for Scott. He's decided he's going to take it first time on the full and I guess probably eight, nine times out of ten he just stroked it into the net. Possibly in his mind he's thinking, if I bring this down and take a touch, someone's going to come by and yeah. scoop it away. Um, but even after that, You've got a way down the right. I think it was after it. I'm getting confused now, but you've got a way down the right. I think it's you, and you've sent a cross in for Rendell. He's got his head on it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how that's. And to be honest, we're almost halfway up off the chair celebrating, and, and, and Liversey, I think it is, the centre half, has come out of nowhere. Yeah, no, I don't know how it's not gone in, to be fair. There's probably three clear chances today that our goals have been Matty hit the post. Obviously, and mine and Ren's one as well. And obviously, he'll want to have one off the line. But just makes you more determined to uh, you know to learn from that and obviously your fitness and your stamina will come and uh, you know that's so so unlucky a uh, bit of an exclusive there for this interview I don't think anybody else realized that that it was actually the cramp that, that, that made you go down as you ran onto the ball um, you know that's that, that that you know we feel for you Shamir and obviously we feel for us because we, we we could have got a result there today but thank you for the effort that you and the guys have, have, have put into the game and uh, you know we look forward to, to seeing you bounce back with uh, with hopefully a win on Tuesday thank you safe journey home Thanks. cheers